Oh, after every jump? Well, this is called gravity. An invisible force that pulls you back to the Earth. Sir Isaac Newton, a well-known scientist, discovered gravity about 300 years ago. The story okay. is that Newton... Children, who discovered gravity? Who discovered gravity? Anybody? Who discovered gravity, children? Newton. Okay. It's Sir Isaac Newton. Okay. And he discovered gravity 300 years ago. Can you follow? Can you, do you understand, children? Okay. Now we're going to move on. To go, the story is that Newton saw an apple fall from a tree towards the ground. At first he thought, why didn't the apple go up? Okay. Then he realized. So, so this is how gravity was discovered. Okay, before Sir, Sir Isaac Newton saw that, a, that an apple fell down from the ground. Can you follow children? Because no one is answering me when I'm asking if you understand. Do you understand me? Yes or no? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hi. I can... Okay, yes. Okay. So, he is thinking, why? Why does the sample did not go up? Well, we did not go up or fly in the air. Okay. So he think that the, maybe there was a force that led that keeping the apple falls down on the ground. Okay. Now we're going to move on. That there was a force that made it fall See, on the ground. And he called it gravity. Okay. So Sir Isaac Newton is the one who discovered gravity. As one day he uh, he saw an apple falls down from the ground, and he is thinking that maybe why. Why does the apple did not fly, fly, fly? Okay, did not fly or go anywhere? It's just fall down around the ground. Maybe there, and then he think maybe there is something, there is something or a force that let that keeps the apple falls down. Okay, on the ground. Okay, now we're going to move on, children. There is no voice. Where is it? No voice. Dr. Binox, the okay. So as you have watched in the video a while ago, children. As you have watched in the video a while ago, we have the nine planets. Okay, so we say why does the nine planets? Okay, so we already know that the gravity exists in the space. Okay, that's because of Sir Isaac Newton. He discovered about it. Okay, now this is the reason why. Why gravity is the reason why also why the nine planets keeps revolving around the sun. They did not fall down as they keep revolving around the sun. Oh, oh, I am not, I am not connected. What happened? Just a moment, children. I'm not connected. Is something wrong with my internet. Just a moment, please. Have to reconnect and again. Have to rejoin you again. Just a moment, children. So that you can see the image or the video. This is bad. <laughs> Just a moment, children, okay? Just a moment, please. There you go. Coming in. Who discovered gravity again, children? Newton. Newton. Okay, how did he discover gravity? 
when the apple was falling down. Okay, very good. Good answer. Great job. Okay. So, what is it? Okay, you answer me yes or no only. Okay. Is it the gravity the reason why? Why the nine planets did not fall down from the space? Yes or no? Is it the gravity is the reason why the nine planets did not fall down from the space as they revolve around the sun? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. So, what do you call this way that the nine, uh, nine planets? That would be the eight planets goes by, or it's like highway. It's like a path that they go through as they revolves around the sun. That they follows as they, as they revolves around the sun. What do you call this? What do you call this? This is the reason why also we didn't they, why didn't they crash from each other. One of the reason. One of the reason is the reason is the gravity in the velocity okay so this is the reason why also that they didn't crash the from each other because they have this line that they follow as they revolve around the sun what do you call this children what do you call this 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 it's like a highway that we follow here on earth or this this is these are these are orbits. even the earth has a gravitational force on the moon that is why the moon rotates around the earth and does not okay you, you answer it let me see if you know okay does the moon revolves around the earth yes or no the, the moon around the earth yes or no children yes or no hello does the moon revolve around the earth? Yes or no? No. Yes, the moon revolves around the earth. Float away. That's amazing, isn't it? An invisible force has so much to do with the way we live. Oops, I forgot to tell you that tides in the sea and oceans happen because be of the turn. gravitational pull of the moon. One, two, three. By the way, have you ever thought why a stone falls on the ground faster than a piece of paper? That's because the bigger the object's mass, the more gravity it will have. Okay. So it says in here that the bigger the mass of an object, the faster it falls down from the ground do you understand children so if you're going to have an apple in a paper who falls down easily or faster the apple or the paper the apple the apple okay because the apple is heavier than the paper what well, if i have a chair and an, mm, a chair and a notebook which one will fall down Faster to the ground. The chair. Okay. And the smaller the mass of the object, the less will be the gravity. Trivia time! The moon's gravitational pull is one sixth of Earth's gravitational pull. A person weighing 150 pounds on Earth would weigh no more than 25 pounds on the moon. Imagine how far you could jump on these two places. So next time, when you see high tides and objects falling on the ground, you will know why that happens. So, this is me, Zoom. What are things that you are, that you are holding when you let it go? They will fall down on the ground. What is the reason, children? Gravity. Gravity. Now we're going to move on with another... We're going to have another more lesson about the gravity. Okay, now we're going to have this one. So that you can, can understand more. We're going to have her. She's a teacher, which is good. There you go.
told you that you just won the lottery, what would you do? If you're like me, you jump up and down and scream. And after you're done freaking out and jumping in the air, it's a moment to event. We're just going to change the subtitle. You'd land on your feet, right? But why would you land back on the ground? Okay. Off into space. It's because of a little something we call gravity. Gravity is what pulls everything toward the ground, including you. Without the force of gravity, there would be no life on Earth. Air, water, animals, everything would fly off into space. There'd be you, no me, no french fry. There you go. Okay. Okay. Nada. Think of gravity like the invisible superglue that holds our massive world together. You can't see it, but it's always there. An English scientist named Isaac Newton was the first person to seriously study gravity over 300 years ago. There's a famous story about him that you might have heard. Supposedly, Sir Isaac was hanging out underneath an apple tree thinking, probably... Partly napping, when an apple fell from the tree and conked him on the head. That's when Sir Isaac had an aha moment. Why did the and not up or sideways? He realized that a special kind of force, which we now know as gravity, was acting on all of the objects on Earth pulling them toward it. Once the apple became too heavy for its stem to hold it anymore, the gravitational pull of Earth brought the apple down onto Newton's noggin. Newton also realized it doesn't matter how heavy an object is either, whether you're holding an apple or a bowling ball or a feather. If you let go of it, that sucker's going down. We're gonna make a whole video about this later. Basically, he determined that what goes up must come down. Sir Isaac was a pretty smart dude. Okay, so you know that if you jump up, you'll eventually land back on the ground. And you know that an apple dropped down will land on the ground too. But what if you throw something in front of you, or to the left, or the right? To see how gravity will act, pick up the tennis ball or any small round object and hold it in your hand. Let's toss it in the air and watch it fall to the ground. No surprise here. Okay, now pick it up and hold it over your head. Let go and it falls down on the ground. And what? It falls down watch the it fall before. once more. Again, not a shocker. Now throw it to your left. Fall down. Pitch it to the right and watch it go down again. No matter where you throw the ball, it's going down. So we've determined that near the surface of the Earth, where we all are, gravity is the cause that produces the effect of all unsupported objects falling down. The ball will go up, or to the left, or to the right for a little bit. Okay, so that's all about gravity. Okay, so children, to make a choice, gravity is the reason why 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 we are we are right now okay we are not flying anything or why the object goes down when you throw it up okay so that gravity is a force that pulls us down to the ground do you understand children do you understand yes or no yes yes okay that's great if you understand now we're going to move on with your Supposedly, I'm going to let you have your recitation, right? Okay, we're going to have a recitation first, and then later, I'm going to let you copy, okay? Is that be okay for you, children? Okay. Hello? Okay. So, we're going to have a recitation. Teacher. Yes? Do you, you have, have any problem? Toilet, okay, sure. Go on. Okay, so we have to wait for the other.
We have two eyes also for yes, children. Yeah. We have to wait for Sophia, okay? Okay. You've come back, Sophia? Yeah. Okay. Here we go, children. Please. Okay. Who discovered gravity? Who discovered gravity? Who's the scientist that discovered gravity, children? Anybody? Don't you have the recitation? There you go. Who discovered gravity? Sophia, you want to try? Repeat again, please. Who discovered gravity? <laughs> Who is the scientist that discovered gravity? Newton. Okay, that's Isaac Newton. Two points. Two points each, okay, children? Next. Okay, which is faster that falls down on the ground? Paper? Or an orange. A paper, you have paper in an orange on your hands, both hands, okay? You're holding paper in orange on your hands. And then you let them go. You let them go. Which one is the fastest? Sure. Which one will go into fall down? The faster that will go into fall down on the ground. Yeah. Sophia? Orange. Orange. Why? Because Why? the orange is heavier than the paper. Okay, very good. Because the, and the orange is heavier than the paper. And we studied a while ago that the heavier the object is, the faster it falls down on the ground. Okay, next. Because the background is a little bit noisy. Okay, so it is the reason, it is the reason, and it is, it's, this one is a force that pulls us back to the ground. Okay, it is the reason why we can run, we can, we can do anything without flying or flying in the space around us. What is this? Gravity. Okay, gravity. Only Sophia is deciding how about the others. Okay. This statement can be answered by yes or no only. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah. This one is not a statement, it's a question anyway. Okay, so that's the, that's the gravity and velocity is the reason why, the reason why Earth is rotating and not crashing to the other planets or the other planets. Uh, okay. okay, again, that's velocity and gravity is the reason why the nine planet, I don't eight planets goes around their orbit and not crossing from each other. Yes or no? Anybody? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Gravity and velocity is the reason why why the eight planets 
did not crash from its other and they just follow the orbit around the sun okay now here we go we'll that's all for your resolution children not too much and sophia got all the points how about the others did you understand children our lesson for today about the earth's gravity who did not understand could you please raise your hand those who did not understand raise your hand please focus one you did not understand focus you did not understand focus one thank you for being honest focus one in yeah yeah okay we're going to go back again do you know a magnet do you know a magnet yes or no do you know a magnet have you seen a magnet magnet what does it mean in thai sophia hmm. sophia what does I'm magnet mean in thai huh i'm not sure you are not sure okay so for those who did not understand i'm going to repeat the video of dr binox okay so we're going to have the video of dr binox and then later on i'm going to have a little bit discussion okay i'm going to repeat again what i have discussed a while ago for those who did not understand teacher yes magnet is this one can I see it? Sophia, can you turn your video? Mele. Again, please. Mele. Okay. Mele. Okay, so magnet in Thai is that one. Again, please, Sophia. What, what is it in Thai? Again? Uh, Mele. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Sophia. Okay, so gravity gravity is our lesson for today children okay so gravity is like a magnet okay it is a force the force that pulls us to the ground that's why we are not floating floating is the because of gravity it pulls us it pulls us it pulls us to the ground okay that's why we are standing right now we are walking and we are not floating in the air okay so what is gravity gravity is like a force that pull us or us to the ground okay so who discovered gravity so gravity was discovered by sir isaac newton okay as one day he was maybe we're just going to make a story okay so just one day he was underneath under under the apple tree and then an apple fall down on his head and then he is thinking why does the apple as it falls down did not go up to the air or in the space why does it falls down and then he come up to the conclusion because he's discovering it okay he's studying it okay so he comes up from this conclusion that there is a force that pull that left that how can i do it in an easier english okay that pull the upper the apple towards the ground okay so he's thinking it's like a magnet so the magnet means in thai apple go to here let you hear it okay so it's like a magnet that pulls the apple down okay so we're just going to have this hey video. friends have you ever wondered what keeps us floating off into space okay if there's no gravity if there's no gravity we're going to float in the space we're going to float in the space like Dr. Binox. Even though we don't doesn't have wings, we're just going to float if there is no gravity. Okay. Why am I going down after every jump? Well. Okay. So what does Dr. Binox doing, children? Jumping. Jumping. Okay. And then Dr. Binox did not stay up in the space, right? He keeps on falling down right yeah yes 
in that is because of our in that because of gravity that is our lesson for today this is called gravity an invisible force that pulls you back to the earth so isaac newton a well-known scientist discovered gravity about okay so this is sir isaac newton who discovered gravity this one is a little bit late can you see sir isaac newton okay anyway that is not the real image of sir isaac newton it becomes a cartoon image okay so sir isaac newton discovered gravity Okay, how did he Newton, A well-known scientist discovered gravity about 300 years ago. The story is that Newton saw an apple fall from a tree towards the ground. Okay, at, at so first the apple he thought, falls down in the ground. It didn't flee, flew in the air. It didn't flew in the air. It falls down on the ground. And then he thinks maybe something is falling the apple down. Okay. But why? Didn't the apple go up? Then he realized that there was a force that made okay, it fall on I'm the ground. You. This is what I'm telling you. It's like just a magnet, okay? The force is just like a magnet that keeps the apple falls down on the ground. Can you all follow, teacher? Focus one in Yaya and the others who did not understand. Okay. Focus one in Yaya. Are you there? Okay. Okay. Did it fall on the ground and he called it gravity. Okay. That force was called gravity by Sir Isaac Newton. Who discovered gravity? Children, who discovered gravity? Sir Isaac Newton. He discovered gravity. How did he discover gravity? One day as he was sitting under the apple tree, he an, an apple fell down from his head. And then he think that there is a gravity that pulls the apple down. Not okay, and he called it gravity. Do you understand, children? Yes or no? Can you follow? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. You'll be surprised to know that every object that has mass exerts a gravitational pull or force on every other body of mass. The size of the pull depends on the mass of the objects. This is how the sun's gravitational pull keeps planets orbiting. Okay, so I have asked you a while ago, children. Okay, what keeps the planets, the planets? goes to the their own orbit in not crashing from each other that's because of the gravitational force of the sun that's because of gravity do you understand children yes or no hello do you understand of course sophia can understand how about others yes okay so i asked you a while ago what do you call this but that the planets goes that follows as the orbit around the sun you call this as orbit <laughs> they go around the sun you call this as orbit okay and the reason why the planets did not crash from each other and they just follow their orbit is because of gravity gravitational force of the sun do you understand now children Yes or no? Hello? <laughs> okay, we're going to move Around on. Around it. Whether you like Even it or not. the Earth <laughs> has a gravitational on. force on the moon. That is why the moon rotates around the Earth and does not float away. That's amazing, isn't it? An invisible force has so much to do with the way we live. Oops! I forgot to tell you that tides in the sea and oceans happen because of the gravitational be pull of lesson. the moon. One, two, three. By the way, have you ever thought why a stone falls on the ground faster than a piece of paper? That's because the bigger the object's mass, the more gravity it will have. 
and the smaller the mass of the object, the less will be the gravity. Trivia time! The moon's gravitational pull is one-sixth of Earth's gravitational pull. A person weighing 150 pounds on Earth would weigh no more than 25 pounds on the moon. Imagine how far you could jump on these two places. So next time, when you see high tides and objects falling on the ground, you will know why that happens. So, this is me zooming out. Tune in next time for more fun. Okay, so one more thing, children. Okay, the heavier the object is, okay, for example, you are holding a paper and a book. Okay, so the paper is lighter lighter than the than the book right so if you're going to let them go the book will going to fall down on the ground faster because it is heavier any object that has um bigger mass will gonna fall down on the ground faster than the lighter one do you understand children yes or no if it is heavy, it will go into fall down on the ground, ground very fast. Okay, if it's going to fall down on the ground very slow, a little bit slower. Okay, can you hello? Okay, so that's all about gravity. Okay, so children, could you please get your notebook? We're just going to continue what you have been doing yesterday as we are not yet finished for it. So, we stop at the orbit. Am I right, Sophia? Orbit, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, we're going to continue with the next. There you go. The world is divided into many parts. The equator divides the Earth into two parts, the northern and the southern hemispheres. Okay, we're going to have this one because this one is a little bit... This one is important. I'm going to put that one in your. You're going to have an online, an online test, but it would be in the form of recitation, children. Your test is in the form of recitation. That's why I keep on asking you sometimes in re recording. I am recording your recitation and your participation in, in our class. That will serve as your exam in each unit. You understand, children? Okay. Okay. Yes, you're going to continue that one. Yeah. What you've been copying yesterday. Okay. Because this is very important.
Are you done, children? Are you finished, children? No. No. Okay, it's okay. Take your time. I think I want it. Are you done, children? Finish. Okay. 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 We are not in a hurry. So here we go. We have one minute and then the thumb.
Finish, till when are you done? Not yet. No. Not yet. Okay, it's okay. Just take your time, no worries. For those who did not send yet the photo of their activity yesterday, children, I am waiting. Only few did pass, and I'm still waiting for the others, okay? Are you done with this? Can we change the other page? Oh, uh, yes. Who are not yet finished? I am set. Andy. Okay, go on, Andy. No worries. Andy and worry. Okay. Good night. 
I thought my mic is on. Okay, so children, we're going to stop in here because this is for our next lesson. The next will be for our next lesson. Okay, so we're just going to be in here. We stop in here. Okay, so that would be all for today, children. See you again on Monday. Okay, have a great weekend, everybody. Goodbye. 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 Goodb